back once the strap concludes. Uh, and then I've got, of course, simultaneous I, games going on. I think we're okay, LD. They've got Medusa versus Naga Siren, so... <laughs> I, I think Eldraft might be uh, a bit more interesting. <laughs> oh, we'll see about that. Secret grabbing the Elder Titan. I mean, we could see that model Elder Titan spam all day, stall all night strat. Yeah. Early, but no, I would I, never put it I'm gonna jinx puppy. it. We're gonna get like a Naga anti mage game or something now. We don't no one, no one perhaps wants to see. I mean, I don't mind. I feel like that's kind of like Chinese, like the old school Chinese Dota, like AM versus Muffling and stuff. But those days of full protect one long gone. Now, newbie, they look for a little more aggression here, grabbing an early void very early, in fact. See what they look to pair it with. You can get it to hero that can be flexible in his lane, can off lane, can safe lane. I even saw one game where a team in one of the qualifiers ran void mid if he has an alright matchup and you just want to free farm someone else, but well, oh, it isn't broken, don't change it. OD comes out, once again we'll see the OD for newbie. I'll talk about great setup for the Hammer of Doom. We've got the Elder Titan, uh, but they have plenty of burst damage to deal with them, and that's that Astral to dodge the stump to interrupt the ET when he's trying to get it off. It'd be a pesky matchup if he gets caught. Ruby's still lacking vision, though. His secret quickly move into a Nyx Assassin here. So running already two melee heroes uh, up against the Void. Granted, Elder Titan tends to sit farther back, but they get someone that can really punish Intelligence carries in the mid game. Yeah, perhaps something they recognize they were missing last game and they didn't have any hero that could deal well with OD at all. And they're just like, let's, let's get this Nyx, someone that can have some catches off for the team. Let's, then again, this is like, let's try something new. This is like the first tournament. This is still trying to figure out what works for your team. Secret have been in Europe. They've been boot camping a little bit, playing some scrims, I'm sure. But this is their first real test uh, at a tournament. So not sticking to just one set drafting style or play style is going to be... It's going to be good for you. So, we do have an Omni Knight ban uh, from Team Secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even, though, That's even good. though I'm not convinced Newbie wanted Team it, uh, it's still decent back. against El Titan, the, the Repel on its own. does counter Nick quite a bit. So, they're like, you know what? We're just not even going to have your shenanigans against this game. Newbie on the other side, banning out Morphling. And. It's just very open-ended, especially, uh, well, really for both teams at this point. Like, where do they want to take this draft? Does Secret want to do that? Their Titan Coddle, like, run a hard carry, or Naga Morphling, like, obviously those are banned now, but something like that. It's all the game. Does Nubi really want to commit to Team Fighter? Do they back off for some late game, or uh, for split push and, in, you know, pressure of their own? Let's see here as we enter phase two. Yeah, last game it was the, the Terror Blade they had that's still available for them. They... I think ideally want to run the Void in the off lane and have some kind of safe lane hero that can take towers, because right now that's really what they're lacking, is some way to take objectives. When you have this big teamfight advantage, you want to be able to use the threat of a teamfight to force towers, so you can force the towers and then your opponent's like, we don't want to defend that tower because we'll lose the teamfight, and that's what the Kunker also gives. Teamfight to go with the Void, you can throw the Ghost Ship in, you've got the Coco's run when the teamfight happens to block a lot of damage, so... Ruby's full fifth pick for the carry role needs to be some kind of Terra Blade type pushing hero. Get off himself. Tactics like Oh yeah. Gonna storm. Team secrets turn to pick. With the coddle moving around the mix of skanks. Or if not, uh, who are you thinking? Storm is decent. PA. Interesting. Comes again. Could be mid one or. Last game was the MP hero, but depending if they want to play it mid lane or safe lane, could change. Interesting. The double the chakram PA gets you the double stifling dagger is can be a huge amount of damage when you initiate. Uh, is it a fun its own to justify <laughs> effect, do you think? I mean, it's it's not like the it's like an added burst to opening up the day. I'm I mean, sure they I have think, other like, oh, man, ideas in mind. With PA. This hero, I'm not like oh two stack. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, it, it's a when you're, perk, like you said. When you're initiating, I mean, it just means you have, you're have twice as likely to get that Stifling Dagger crit, which is a huge amount of burst damage. When you're level 11, that's like a, what, 300, 400, maybe even more burst damage instantly on a hero. And then you blink on them if you get a crit with your right click. Suddenly that hero is like, that's like 800 HP gone instantly um, with a double dagger into Blink Strike. So it does make quite a big difference for PA. It really does enable her to just be that much stronger and scarier of a threat in a team fight. But 
Um, it's not. It's definititely not why they picked the PA. They think this hero can match up well against OD as far as having the evasion, being able to get on top of OD. But we often hear that uses his kind of mobility and his kiting capabilities with the astral. And I think Secret are thinking with the PA they can kind of take that away somewhat. So Secret, def excellent storm tactics. They have great on the map here from the Blitz Strike, the Zero to Scout, uh, the Nyx to do the same. Keep it around, looking for that second damage dealer. And then Booker. Skip time was off PA with mid PA, uh, and it was mid one playing it. Both mid one and MP do play Invoker got who takes the run this round? Probably mid one? Yeah, mid one. It, it seems mid one's going to be playing almost the mid lane well, for the most part, and then MP will be playing the, the safe lane role, so it looks like mid one will take the Invoker, MP on the PA. But nine with a side. Sven last pick. He, man, does he have some backup or what? He has the co raw. He has the alt or heal and sustain in the astral uh, to save him. If he's really in trouble, the cross. Yeah. Very difficult in these fights. That's one of these things. I remember when we first started seeing this Sven faceless void drafts, like for the, us analysts, we were like, well, do you really want to pick these heroes together? Sven can't hit in the Chronosphere, but they actually combo and synergize so well because the Viking go in one or two of the frontliners, and when the backliners come in to help the Chrono, Sven just blinks past the Chrono and goes for the backline. So these two heroes actually can function just fine on the same team, and if anything, they kind of complement each other quite nicely. Yeah, so we see mid one uh, going the early exhort to start with the strike, very fair, no doubt. So for the maximum right damage here to secure the early last hits, and it'll be Puppy looking to secure Maroon as well. Where was that Sunstrike? Ah, uh, he Sunstrike just the fountain earlier. Oh, he just he just shot. Oh, he threw another one. Oh, I didn't see the second. Well, one. at least I got that. In any case, mid one, just heading down towards mid. Uh, we are going to see MP farming safety as the PA. So, first, guys, when they brought the Keeper of the Light, I'll try in a pass. Like, they used to play very, very greedy, just really be sticking in the jungle. Uh, even like, I won't say it's even like Secret 1.0, where we, we saw that strategy for the first time for them. Do you think they're going to do it uh, the same way as well this game, or do you expect like a different style of these two heroes? Mm, probably see Puppy getting uh, being kind of aggressive on the lane and have the Keeper of the Light. I want to say even the early mana leak just to zone the Void. So probably a bit less greedy and more focused on securing the lane first. Zone the Void out and then while stacking and then go back and secure the stacks later. If anything, the stacks may be high. You may try to give them over to someone like Invoker or the PA, but you've, you've got to make your first priority giving the PA a good lane. That's what mana leak can give you. Yeah, so it's for more rev here, really using the high base gen success and comes with uh, going down on it with tangos, uh, tangos as well. So hopefully you really need a salve or the additional uh, one-time use for This is a very difficult harassment lane, but if anyone could do it, it is probably an or try lane. Before trying to bring mangoes back, I think they're in season right now. We haven't seen no. much mango purchases like we used to, but. Yeah, or, certainly uh... not the double mango strats, but. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a big fan of double mango. I think as an offlaner, one's more than enough, but he's going to be trading lows a lot of looks like, so he'll get you out of the HP. Yeah. You know, that was almost a year ago that we were doing uh, the first qualifier hub, and you yep. went through early and anyway. he Hey, four mangoes, four mangoes there, but times have changed. That we came with over. like seven mangoes, I remember. Is the action up play for people to secure? In front or mangoes now, homie? Yeah. Mangoes, but still unable to find the counter kill. Nice start for newbie. Yeah, in the second, you, just, you could get a south set of the second mango. To me, that's generally preferred as an offlaner. That's what we see the void, you just mango and south with the mango. Because you, if you're looking for the mango for HP regen, a salve is way more HP regen in the laning stage. That's a KP. So, a pretty good time. We love to. And. Pull it. But. Really. In for the. Force. On a leak. Uh. Try and hurt. Okay. Yeah, you can't really do anything to me. Now he's gonna go for the bottom rune. Definitely don't want to be trading with the void. Hey, P. Jumping in. And. It's gonna get an illusion rune. I like my. Not so bad here, the early harassment. Yeah. It's tough. I could mana leak the void, but 
it's a PA, not like a jug or something, so it's not like you can force the void away. PA or dagger isn't too scary. Mid lane, a CC. Uh, it's only the By level I lost the puppy. It's gonna have an astral spirit relatively soon. It's got a slightly better move speed. Or 15, in fact, S3 PC is gonna get the astral, or uh, rather the, the other astral, I would say. Should be able to escape as the spirit chases him down. It's just... Pass too slow. Looks like. But. Uh, Craig? No, it doesn't have the mana for it. He's gonna bother Crow to get himself back in the lane as well, so. OD not even getting fully zoned off of that. Puppy back to the stacks here. They are gonna settle in full try and guys before I have on an island top. So it's a free farm and a relatively free farm PA. The mid lane, a uh, really slight advantage for mid one. Unable to find that kill, so it doesn't get the big experience just yet. We're all pretty even lane stage, it feels like. Newbie may be getting a, a slight edge. Yep, yeah. uh, slight edge in his way. The Sven, of course, is gonna get his free farm. PA similarly getting a decent amount of farm. Imagine if Newbie feels safe in this game, their ability to protect towers will go for the helm of the Dominator. They've already started stacking against if anything. Uh, and he's picked up the helm. Armlet's still really good on Sven, so I think if you want to just manually stack ancients, you can go for the armlet build and you're slightly stronger to fight with. But for the most part, Newbie getting exactly what they want out of this light stage. Uh, as here, the follow up torrent comes through, forces the puppy rotation. Look for the stomp. Oh, just barely misses. At the tower. It's like gross. Slight tantrum. There we have to reconnect. Maybe not. Maybe not that fun, but for now they're about to pick up at 3C. We'll grab it. Bottles are right up. It's back to lane. So he should be A-OK. -okay. So we see mid one grabbing the early infused raindrops, trying to make sure he doesn't die to that Kunkka combo. Being his mana pool as healthy as possible. Overall, God's relatively passive laning stage, just like occasional poking from supports, but it doesn't really feel like there's too much intent here for kill or, or bloodlust. Yeah. You've got Sunstrike on the secret side, but I guess bottom lane is where they can try find the kills with the mana leak into like daggers, blink in, and then try hit a Sunstrike. But without the Sunstrike, they're not killing off KP. But probably one of the more scary lanes for, uh, for newbie right now that they have to not give up kills in. All in all, yeah, everyone kind of getting their levels here for the most part. U9, the slight breadwinner as far as his overall farm goes, but uh, not by much of an advantage over the PA. When do you expect things to, to break down a bit? Uh, looking at each team, is the, what in particular are they waiting on, and, and what do you see as the main timings? Uh, mostly the offlane is level 6. You also see a OD gank here. Uh, Sunstrike to follow up. Good connection there for mid one and SPC <laughs> up the hill and... Back to the fountain he goes, but meanwhile top lane for Ev also in trouble. Can they wrangle him? They have the X. They didn't get it off for Kaka there. Very good use of the carapace and the stun. Three arrow movement. They're unable to find the counter kill. Yeah. And for secret, their level six on Nyx is probably the biggest thing before they really start moving around playing aggressive. For Ev wants to get his arcane boots level six, and then he can just roam around the map. Find pickoffs, use the sun strike, and then you've got this great killing combo between Nix and Invoker. For newbie, the Chronosphere timing isn't as important just because they don't have the best damage to instantly dump in it. Like OD needs items, Sven needs items. Newbie, for the first time probably in the three games, are going to be the ones playing more defensive just because of the nature of their draft. Forever still holding on to those mangoes for now. Has helped him stay in the lane now that he's gotten some levels. The sustain heals him right back. We'll see that day miters built from the Invoker. And Chrono for KP, still ways off, the Nick level 6, also a ways off here. Offlaner's being shut down a moderate amount, and teams carries far in for now. Mid lane is really starting to tip in favor of mid one, courtesy of all those rotations. We're not seeing S3C take over the OD the way he did before. Yeah, but I think the one nice thing for Newbie, you know your Sven's going to pull ahead of PA. You've got ancient stacks coming in. It's a Sven. You just cleave through jungle camps. You can stack the jungle. You can then give the lane to your support so they can get level 6. U9, as soon as he hits level 7, can farm like a 4 or 5 stack at the ancients with some treads. So uh, it's a very scary thought that this Sven is getting as farmed as he is. They're going to go in for a top 2. Uh, but harass. Not to keep bottom at the same time. He does get mono caught out of position, tries to run away, he will end up escaping. Or also able to make it up the war cry. Used to try and disengage, but it does end up getting caught here. Kaka hanging back in reserves. 
from its mm -hmm. TP reaction for the PA. And he quickly cancelling that one instead of being on KP. It's a pump fake from him, the time walk out. Monolink creating him lower and lower on the pool, but unable to completely control. Instead, they turn back for Kaka. The constant Edgar pokes adding up combined with Illuminate. Only level one does some decent damage. The move on to Kaka. MP will find the kill. KP need to turn it highlight right back, but the time MP is absolutely fine. And a cloud of blood again. Secret find their second kill, making it three to one overall is the PA effect is fully in force. Yeah, newbie just playing a bit too like, aggressive. They, they're countering the aggression of Secret by going for kills. They're like, okay, they're diving out tower, let's get kills. When in reality, KP just needs to get out. Like, he's not going to die there. He's got time walk, he can just time walk away, he's fine. They're trying to protect their tower while getting these kills on Secret and punish Secret's over-aggression, but they don't have level 6s. OD TP'd in with just brown boots. He doesn't have treads even, so they didn't really have the ability to get counter kills there, yet they forced it at bottom and a bad opportunity. They need to just play slower, recognize they've got the spend, they've got the farming efficiency, they need to get just their core items up, get your treads on OD, get your full staff, and then play around these items. Did he lose his creep? Um... I'm not sure. Didn't... Yeah, it it looks... was at the Ancients earlier. Yeah, it looks like he may have lost it, so... Unfortunate, he could potentially get some stacky assistance from KP. As yeah. mid one, having already completed Vitus, looks to stay position when it comes to net worth here, but still been in the lead, about a 600 gold advantage, and that is before he farms the stack. See Secret begin to apply a bit of pressure here in the bottom one. Your Secret, you're starting to consider, like, hey, can we contest this? What's our play around the, the ancient stack? Um, and whether or not you're going to be in fighting shape to do that. If they can get double forward spirits, they have actually got the double forward spirits, they might be able to move in there at some point and try and uh, contest it when Sven goes for it. Uh, Kaka wants to set up here and grab just a bit of harassment. No follow up, as you mentioned. Newbie also taking advantage of their jungle. Moving from camp to camp. Carving down the creeps. Secret also doing a bit of pull of their turn. Does leave the invoker free to arm. It keeps the PA unpressured in the laning stage and still waiting on that void level 6. Meanwhile, already level 7 picked up for Ev, so experience advantage shooting up dramatically for Secret. They can take this tower down, God, they just might be able to contest the Ancients. Yeah, they don't have the best ability to take it. Invoke of Ford Spirits, all right, but he's pretty low level, and oh, Kunkka, top, solo kill. Got zapped by the Nyx there. Uh, he managed to get the stop, and I think may have carapaced a torrent to set things up. Manages to run him down, puts him a thousand gold, but the tower has dropped in the end. That goes the way of MP. He is going to be building towards an early Vlad here, so a very aggressive build that can allow them to move into the Roche pit should they win a couple of fights. Yeah. Yes, I mean, you'd be very clear objectives right now. It's it's like farm up our carries while the supports get level 6. Once Kunkka has level 6, Void has level 6, they can team fight. but neither of those heroes level 6 yet. No false promise. And Sven now going to go for the Ancient stats. It looks like Secret just not in position to really contest this. It's really not the best stack all they could do. You got a very fast Dominator, but only... Uh... A triple stack here, I believe, at 10 minutes in. So I think Puppy may have been contesting it with the Astral Spirit a bit. Didn't, didn't see, but not, not able to get as much farm as he would like. Did commit the God Strength for that, though the Chrono is ready now. There isn't the best follow up. We'll see if KP wants to take advantage of it here. He'll show himself along with the Sven U9 Echo Saber, soon to come. Really wants to pick that up as soon as possible. Tries to more cry, but gets clipped by the stun. KP. There to assist, trying to force out that void ultimate, but so far, uh, nothing doing. Uh, I think I'm I'm gonna try for a quick reconnect here, guys. Alright. Nothing brewing just yet. I mean, it's Sven ultimate down, so unlikely to see newbie make plays, but it's four up with the level 6 Nyx Vendetta. Getting active near this mid lane. Suspense is killing me. It's gonna Scanning. happen. Nothing yet. All right, we're just in time. Oh, he popped the smoke. Ooh. Sentry goes down. He's already out. Does end up making it back safely. Still, uh, still newbie heroes are smoked at this point, but they're not able to make that first move with the chrono yeah. boat combo. Very potent duo, gods, but big break there. Even though the Nyx uh, doesn't end up finding a kill, this is frankly probably better. 
I think you're having an early point booster here. So are, are you expecting just the Ags rush from him? What do you, what do you think for him? Uh, I mean, point boost is good casual stats. Not, it does suggest an Ags rush, but I think Blink is always very useful for the hero. Midas is always an odd consideration because you benefit so much from the levels. I would have liked to see perhaps a Midas rush this game, but... Uh, the X is also really strong. Good setup mid, but guess who's waiting? It's KP. I'm a if he's gonna go in with the Chrono. Oh, Connects the four heroes. This is perfect with Kaka coming through. The boat, Spot Hammer, Secret, Slaughter from the X, dragging back mid one, lose two. Looking not till there's more in the process, and it is three. Or if Nyx two will fall. Oh, KP, a masterful bit. And very bold by Secret, I have to say. Uh, with tier 1 up, no vision up the hill. They run up the cliff, easily into the void with all the effects ready. That was a risky maneuver, and they will hit me with a fourth life here. MP gets chased. The, the stun comes out from the Sven. Follow up is there, and Secret get completely roundhoused, and that will immediately remove their entire advantage. That was such a godly chronosphere from KP. Oh, catching everyone and leaving the OD outside makes it look easy, but that is not as easy as he made it look in. Did not catch the OD? Did it, did it too early? Made sure the Kunkka would be ready to come in. Uh, yeah. Perfect positioning. Moment. And I think more importantly than the positioning, it was the timing on it. Like, a lot of voids would have just dropped really early, and then the enemy team just runs away. But he, he was very patient there. Well. Newbie off of that, get a ton of breathing room, can continue to farm. They can wait their ulti cooldowns and then go look to make another play. Like, I'd probably look to see them make that play from a minute or two ago where they smoke up with Chronosphere, try and combo with the Odi ultimate, the uh, the Kunker Ghost Ship. But for now, they're kind of in farming mode. They've suddenly had a huge swing going their way. Sven is the top farmer. It's something they just want to maintain. Newbie content to slow things down after that. Cut about half of the secret gold lead away. You have to take a tower for a newbie guys. Since the team that wants to be farming ancient stacks that ideally would like to move into the Roche pit, God Strength is available. Put a dent in their plans yeah. there. Could Voker really aggressively split pushing mid one, doing a great job at map control here, together with Astral Spirit, as well as the Nyx Assassin. They're hunting for Kickby up top. If he leaves this tower, he could be in some trouble from the Impale. Even if he goes for a creep, he might just get Impaled. And if he dies first, there will not be any, any turnaround for a top lane. Great map sense for KP. See, he's here is missing from the map. He's not even leaving that tier 2 CS. He's very poor. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. He made that play when he was bottom 3 net worth and he makes that play at mid. That's getting value out of an underfarmed hero. Well, this is. Oh, that's not value. That's not getting value. <laughs> the jinx is in. Almost got yeah, his OD he... killed if S3 CTP'd in. He time walked just some Ford Spirit in mid ones. Like, alright, I'll just go on you then. That's that's a free kill. Very squishy. S3 getting clipped here. But stun, they know the void is not going to be able to turn this one around. He will get healed up a bit by Faith, but still the chase comes out. The mono leak. Super annoying to deal with. And S3 C will make it out. But while that was happening, mid one flexes his muscles in the top lane with P. They break tower down. Destro coming soon. Uh, the BOT's online. Secret, they might not have the best team fight. It's pretty good with the Elder Titan, but man, do they have map control and especially the ability to just dominate creep equilibrium. Yeah. The Desto is where PA gets super. The Desto and level 11. Those two things combined is where PA is super scary. The double dagger is actually a mad thread. Mid lane. Cut from behind. That's a two hero for Bolt 9. Chunking Secret low. Can he finish them off? The help of the OD is there. F3C almost dead. He ends up dropping to the board spirit. Pulse snap combo. Pi will be the third man down. Insta buyback because they want to move in here. They've got 4F. The backline but Sven got the jump on it. Stuns him. Almost finishes him up. Instantly gets off the carapace. So could turn this fight. Fate able to barely keep it up alive. What a beautiful false promise. He won't even die in KP. Try and time walk and scout to the high ground. And now they've cut out MP. Who wants to help his team? But man, costing them further, making more dead with my puppy. This could be a dieback. It could be five. Oh, the lag is strong. But newbie, newbie, they're stronger. They only lose an OD in the end. And all right, we're gonna try to reconnect again. My God, two nine was so big in that fight. He, he even got hit by the instant blinding back from Coddle. It was just the two heroes stun that set up 
the combo from Kunkka. And then once the blinding light wore off, he just tore into the rest of the heroes, took out the Nyx as well afterwards. It was a, a great initiation coming from the Sven, and recognizing that his team was losing towers, he needed to fight. He picks up Blink Dagger, will slow down perhaps like his BKB pickup, but well worth it on how that fight went down. If we secret again, they lose a fight to the ultimate, they immediately start pushing. They do a really good job playing around these cooldowns. Chrono's down, OD ultimate's down, more towers drop. That's now the fourth tower falling here in the mid lane, and... It's newbies still yet to take a tier one. It's it's the, the nature of their lineup. They're not going to take towers easily. They're looking to take big team fights, play for the late game with their carries, but it does result in Secret still having a slight early game lead. I mean, this this feels more like previous incarnations of Secret as far as the the overall game plan gods, where they want to play the creep equilibrium game. They don't really care about losing fights. They make up for it in farm. They make up for it in objectives, and they're even willing to commit buybacks to to try and take towers and, and turn fights around that look lost. So, with the Desto, MB will push even faster when he's able to get onto a building and BFTs uh, completed on the Invoker, and now another 2,000 gold banked. You want to be even more confident moving around the map. Oh yeah. In interesting to note, Kak has picked up a very early gem. He's trying to deward the map using the torrent for some vision. He's taken out one ward already up in their own jungle. So really prioritizing map control and dealing with this Nyx Essence scouting out Team Newbie. I like die. Has grabbed the point booster. Likely Aghanim's also en route for him. Secret. Playing the keep away game. They, they see a couple of heroes bottom. They head the other way using the Astral Spirits of Scout, the Forge Spirits to Radiance push the lanes. And if anyone knows how to play Radiance keep away, it's certainly Puppy. Well, doing it for a long time now. Now we see some items come out. OD, full staff, this will help him out. He's got the full Hurricane Pike, Radiance in fact. Nothing like a Void getting a 19 minute as well. KP's probably happy to finally finish an item. Dive He's only died twice, tower. but there's just Some been no tower. farm available on the map. No tower gold until finally they get that bottom tier one. Is there something that newbie can like do to deal oh. with this kind of split push from Secret? Is there an item pickup or a particular maneuver you think they can make? Or are they just kind of doomed to play defense here until Secret chooses to pick a fight? They're looking to play defense mostly. They can stay pretty even on farm just because of Sven. Uh, even the OD is still getting alright farm himself. So I think they're happy playing defense and then smoking around the ultimates. Um, their offense is mostly let's go use it, let's go use a big combo. They're not going to group up to push so much as uh, they want to group up to team fight. And with this BKB pickup, I believe it's actually go time. And the uh, D ward, unfortunately, all those TPs may be scattered. So even though they D ward, it'd be very obvious if they then smoked up right after D warding. All right. Well, more importantly, my man KP, he's got top trends. That, yeah. That's that's a real minutes. pick up here, guys. How can you lose sight of your? Your, what should be your true focus on your Australian heritage. You disappointed me. Speechless. <laughs> so Forge Spirits push out the bottom lane. Two nine hunting through the tree. He knows anyone he finds in a 1v1 is, is no match for him with the BKB, but won't end up securing a hero. Said he'll just push out the lanes here, and you can just see mid one. Wherever newbie go, he goes the other way. The lane shoved out. Radiance they are going to converge on the tier 1. I guess that is the thing newbie of going for them here is they don't have to push as far to get to towers because those tier 1s are up. Alright, I'll be um, Just have to do some old perfect world reconnect Radiance myself, but looking good now. <laughs> you missed my sick burn on Australia. Oh man. That's it's, it's pretty easy country to make fun of, to be honest, so... <laughs> We, it we was, a, it it was uh, like a 1 out of 10. Uh, I lost one yeah. negative, it was so bad. So, <laughs> probably for the best you didn't hear it, but uh, newbie gonna push in, take the tier 1 down. I like well, die. I, I, I would I'd make fun of America, but I saw the debates last <laughs> night. Like, you guys have enough of your own problems to deal with. I don't, I don't need to say anything. America's the butt of every joke in the world. You, you don't need to make fun yep. of us. That's just, that's just, that's just like kicking, kicking a child when they're, when they're already down. Uh. Cruel and inhuman. <laughs> oh, even man. Team Secret's like, let's get out of America. No more NA players. Let's get some. Let's get some SEA players, and it's it's working out pretty well for them so far. This team is like they're looking like a team. They're playing together. It doesn't feel like it's just five individual talented players. They've got pretty good organized strategies and game plans. Like they're very kind of fluid with their movement. But newbie, tough opponent who's 
and kind of pushing this into the late game here in game number three. Yeah, they're getting more confident with their movements and they are gonna surge into the Roche pit. They kill this very quickly with Sven and OD. But Secret, they've got good stall here. They're gonna rev up and illuminate. They do have their tight and Kane at slowing things down in the pit as the Earth Splitter comes through, but airball from Puppy. You may feel more confident about this Roshan. <sighs> okay. Roshan versus ET though. Now. Yeah, Roshan versus ET. ET is probably one of the worst screws to Roshan against. He gives vision and he stalls with the stomp. And it sets up follow up spells. It's so painful. It would just be a yeah, reset, but now they've got to be worried about Secret getting in there with the Deso PA Secret themselves can rush very quickly. Puppy just constantly sending Spirit in. Keeping eyes on the rock. Newbie gonna yeah. back off and push some lanes out. They still have yet to activate this Fen BKB. I mean, you talk about Elder Titan around the pit, but Newbie have a pretty devastating team fight of their own. And the Newbie has the vision cautious. advantage too. Yeah, you've got KP on this high cliff, and they deep warded the area, so they know there's no ward spotting him up there. The ward's well across the river, so we'll see Kaka going in. Kaka actually sees the ward himself, but he needs a, a quelling or something to clear it out, so it looks like they're just gonna go in the pit. All right, okay, round two. He warding. He just wants the ward. There we go. He's got it. <laughs> That's like <laughs> nice little play there by by Kaka, showing why he also is one of the highest MMR players in the world. Making full use of the X, and now he is going to scout out 4 Here, Torrent comes through. Uh, quick disengage, attempted by the Carapace, but 4 It's only a level one Carapace. It's not enough. He drops, and with his death, that is likely to be a free yeah. Roshan, I think, gods. They're, they're just winning these fights and engagements around the pit on mission. This gem pickup has been the like, oh. game changer for newbie. Uh, oh, I said free, but secret. They've got other ideas. The stop connects on both carries. Is there follow though, KP? Just waiting here off the side, secret. They have not seen him yet. He's in great position, set up on the mid one, but he wants the multi hero chrono tornado as a fish. The chrono now connects. Is there a counterplay? Stop coming through. Then blinks over the top. BKP on to MP. Slaughters the PA. <laughs> Where's your crit now? He says and turns back for mid one. It's a group up and beat down. Area was newbie. Oh no, he's on the cliff. They're both on the cliff. <laughs> Oh, they both got on the cliff! Oh! That's a, that full stuff's being made in China. Screenshotted for posterity. Yeah. But it happened That's after the full stuff and Blink. Take it anyway. Yeah. Well, look okay, at that. I mean, that's such a, a vision advantage. They've got this big team fight edge now. KP didn't even hit that. That was a pretty shocking chronosphere compared to his last one. Not to say it was the worst possible chronosphere, but didn't really achieve all that much. He actually then like tried to leave the chronosphere to use time dilation on other heroes, but couldn't quite find them. And even so, the, the Sven is just too farm to fail really right now. When Sven can just jump on your PA and kill her in the duration of a single storm hammer with three heroes surrounding her, you got problems, guys. Yeah. Well. And is now about a, a full tier 4 item up on the PA, nearly 6k gold advantage here, it's only 25 minutes in. And unlike the, the last game with the PA where it's like, okay, you get this BKB and it's all this magic damage, you'll be fine. Sven, he's not magic damage, he's got physical, he can build into an MKB if he wants, he just solo kills puppy down at bottom lane. If he goes like Moonshard or an AC into an MKB, this PA can never stand against him. Not to mention Warcry, it's a huge amount of bonus armor for your whole team to help resist the PA's damage. PA is not the late game solution to a free farm spend, that is for damn sure. Generally when we see the PA succeed it's when they snowball, they get like a an early deso and they just keep on finding kills. But if it's a farming war and especially if you haven't gone Battle Fury, there's just no way you're keeping up. Well, as it stands, Seeker are going to have to play defensive with a lineup that doesn't want to play defensive. They can't team fight into Nui right now. There's an Aegis as well up. They've got to just respect the strength of this double BKB and Aegis, and that may just result in them losing tower after tower. They, they can stall with ET Coddle, but they can't team fight. And Nubi still looking at about three minutes to go on this Aegis, so plenty of time. Do you expect them to really force the issue with it, uh, or do you think they're just content to, to sit back and farm? Um, I think another smoke play, or at least take this tier 1 mid tower. Uh, taking the tier 1 mid tower will just make it easier to take the next Roche. You get more control over the map, deny some vision from Secret, but their late game is looking formidable and not like it's needing to have towers taken during this stage of the game. 
If anything, they don't want to like force two fights because wh where they start to fall off is when these BKBs get down to like five seconds. That's that's the stage of the game where you go past the late game into like the ultra late game, and then Secret suddenly have this level twenty five Invoker with Agony Scepter against five second BKBs, and Invoker can win you the game at that stage. So that's what like that's where a newbie. If anything, they play it slow for now to get a few big items like PC. And then they try to take fights. They want to win fights without having to use BKB if possible. Ah, uh, very well timed scan there. We'll scout out Newbie. Going for a deep smoke of their own. Moving from right to left here. Okay, P trying to get up on the high ground. The stop says hell no. Yep. Get some in smoke, but the spirit does give you a notification when you hit units, so. Nice predictive place. Off a bit. Like, yeah, I, I see you. You don't scare me. Back, but newbie, they please. don't really need to find kills to take towers, and they will convert now on this tower in the mid lane. Blink used to dodge the dagger, but he does get fun before BKB. Still, the follow up is there. KP with a good chrono, but the boat doesn't quite connect. It was a bit off to the right. Still, Unai running and gunning them down. The four F falls before the sword. This butcher's cleaver of a weapon as they look for a fourth kill. The X. Set up, the follow-up comes through, MP, a blink to the north, attempting to retreat while on the bottom lane, it's up to mid one to escape, will MP get the evasion he needs? No sorry. Mid one, the lone survivor. Oh, he might they get are X. gonna convert, he's not gonna be stuck around for a while, God, the X comes through. Where's he gonna go? He throws out the tornado, attempting to stop KP from okay. jumping him. Will the other here calls... There's no TP on OD or Sven, actually. I, I think Tanka hit the X, I'm like, oh, if OD or Sven TPs, it's a kill, but neither of those heroes can TP back. Oh boy, can MP gonna push hang around? fast enough is, is the question here. He's gonna Sorry, come not MP, uh, at mid one. This one's quite seem like it. He does slow newbie down though, forces people back. That will put an end to this mid push. Mid one, yeah. although the team takes pretty catastrophic losses. He does salvage the objectives. Tier two, still alive mid. He's like the, the big player of this game. We can take secret to the late game. You can split push, you can scale really well. Um, and again, newbie, another fight where they kind of win it. They don't get a T2 tower. They use both their BKBs. Odie's used it really late and perhaps a bit unnecessarily, but that's the kind of fight that you're not too upset about if you're team secret, just because you're still in this game, you defend your towers, you buy time for the invoker to get bigger and bigger. Highlight Dive pushing out the bottom lane here. Agonims nearly complete now. Just needs 450 gold to grab that. So his items do progress. Puppy working towards a four staff. We mid one now grabbing the ultimate orb. Uh, what do you think here? Is this uh, a Lincoln's God? It's a Hex? Um, uh, looks like a Lincoln's. Ooh. Yeah, let's say Lincoln, if you're split pushing, you, this is like a split push go late game kind of game, and that's where Lincoln's means you won't get caught by that X. If if you're split pushing there and the Kunkka TPs back to X you and then have someone like OD come in, that X won't land and you can blink away. Similarly, if OD likely to go for a Hex, he can't blink Hex you with the Lincoln, so... Very good defensive item this game. See Newbie pressing in on the mid lane while also sweeping around past the cliff. Pickoffs. U9 is a very confident man. Radiance and they will X him just to attack. try and see if anyone's lurking behind the tower. He doubles back, Radiance mashes the tier two fallen. down, and they may proceed forward here to the tier three. We're trying to split push. They do have mid one closing in on the top lane, but newbie, they now face the great white wall. Bye bye die. Tower of light to keep the lane back. And we will have to back off in the end. Right. He, he, he Kotal. Good luck pushing high ground. Yeah. This, that's why this game will just continue to drag out, and as much as it looks like everything's going newbie's way and has been for some time, it's not as clear cut that they're necessarily going to win this game. If they get a couple pickoffs, the game could just end right there. Like, lane of racks, boom, game could be won. But secret play this, like, with, with few mistakes, this high ground will be defended for a long, long time. Invoker will continue to get scary and scary, and this is one of the best late game carries to have in the game. So, this is not an easy game by any means for newbie to, to win. I see a Lotus Orb grab now on Mr. Kaka. Mm-hmm. Bit against Any, the mana anything leak, in I particular? Guess? Just the mana leak, you think? Um... I mean, Mana Leak's the main one you're looking at, as far as spells to get rid of. 
I mean, none of the really, I mean, it's always, the, the echo spells is always kind of cute, but it's mostly normally picked up as something to dispel silences and annoying spells like Mana Lake. I don't really see too many items that, or uh, abilities that particularly counters this game. But he will move forward bottom now, grouping up his squad of four. Unai, the one man holding his top lane. May look to jump him here, but he has the BKB. Teammates could arrive in. The nice blink out. Or Rev just creeping in with the Aetherland stun. Unable I believe to connect the, there. the low should also get rid of the Echo Stomp. I'm uh, not entirely sure, but I think it, it should. It purges off the sleep. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Fine for Rev in the bottom lane. Nyx is actually caught out here, puppy. It's the back away. The BKB committed now as S3C moves in a bit deeper. Mid one, though. Wants to turn this thing around now that the Chrono's been committed. And meanwhile, up in the top lane, Keeper of the Light just tries to shove lanes out. Sven is still there for the time being. Unai being thwarted a bit here in his effort to assist the team. KP now getting caught out. Time walking up to the high ground. And a perfect prediction. Such strikes is one. What a shot from him. Cuts the void down where he stands. My god. This is what and this is where Sven is scary, but he's he's not getting any scarier. Where he's been for the last 10-15 minutes of this game is kind of Sven at his peak. Bodhi definitely does get a bit more potent with a, a sheep stick up, but this Sven will fall off. Invoker PA, not so much the case. Smoke well, up for this rush, very here, risky. They have oh. no chrono. They are not in position. Newbie. They're not taking a long way around. Play. They're not going to get here. It's a very long road, and it leads to nothing particularly promising for Newbie. And Aegis, snagged by MP, not given to the Invoker. They may find oh, an item slot. If Sven can get a good jump on like the Coddle, and like an or an Invoker, like you can just take the team fight through that. Rain squad using their scan now. They do have vision, I believe. Have seen one, and they jump on the pile. I die quickly, decapitated <laughs> by U9. But they want a little more. They did do the Invoker in the neighborhood, I believe, earlier mid one. Snaking his way through the trees. He is the prize. They are not pure. Yeah, I think Newbie thought there'd be more with the Cuddle there, but everyone else was really far away. Cuddle was just the lone lane pusher. Oh, uh, they're setting up. Done from 4F, even committing the Carapace here. Sven goes right in on the 4F. There's no way to protect him here. Aside from trying to work him down with MC, who does not have his Basher just yet. He still tries to man fight Unai. BKB has worn off, though. They can look to kite the Sven now. He's going to need help from the Oracle if he wants to engage KP. Quick time walk forward. He's got the Blink. He doesn't have mana for the Chrono, though. He's short, just barely. Now gets it. But now Secret, also out. Down to 7 seconds retreat. and 8 seconds on the BKBs, respectively. This is... But it's going to become concerning for newbie soon. Yeah, they keep finding these kills and pickoffs. I mean, the kill score looks great. You see the kill score, and you're probably thinking, oh, newbie's stopping this game. But by no means is that really the, the case. Secret have a ton of abilities to install this game to the late game and give newbie problems, as Sven will just get kited in these fights once he's down to a five second BKB. And once you get kind of the items up like four staffs, it gets very challenging oh, to fight this it. Is the hero that can't die, though, guys. Oh, they found God. pit one. They nice crack him right open. X is gonna set yeah. that up after breaking the Lincoln Sphere and newbie. Showing that if you are out of position, you will be punished. Absolutely. Nice little pick off there. There. Putting down. They're even putting down wards like in their own jungle to try help catch and pick him off. So. A lot of pressure on an invoker in this game. As much as you pointed out, newbie do not have like the the auto win late game. This is the one guy that has to play godly. For, for Secret yeah. to be able to take it there. Whereas it feels like for Newbie, Kunkka can make some big plays, Void can make some big plays, maybe Sven gets a big multi-hero stun, cleave combo, and just starts the fight up one to two kills. It really does feel like it's 80% on mid one if, if Secret are going to take it. Yeah. I mean, as, as fond as PA can get, mid one's got to be the big playmaker. Nyx can be, need to make some key initiations as well, but I mean, speaking of Nyx, he's looking very poor, under leveled as well. This, I mean, to go back to the itemization, I think Midas was definitely the, the item he should have gone for as his first pickup, and then you go into the Ags or the Blink Dagger, or you decide what you need. But it's kind of like you got to, you, you don't know how the game's going to go um, based on like how the, whether you're going to be winning or losing losing fights, taking Roche or not. So you kind of, buying a Minus just means you can delay deciding what item you commit to. And what's happened is the fights have gone bad. He's committed to this Accepter that he can't even complete just yet. 
He's still a, a little bit short of it, so Foreb's not really been all that effective this game on the Knicks. He's 1-7-0. and zero. This is very that uncharacteristic is. for the secret offlaner. Yeah, he, he had the better laning stage, too, by quite a margin uh, compared to KP, but KP had that one big chrono mid, and, and ever since then, it just feels like the Void has been hugely impactful. Involved in 14 kills, meanwhile, as you point out, the Knicks, Foreb, involved in one. That is a scary ratio. And, and now Sven has a safe uh, back. Yeah, if he gets it, and the thing is, the axe is amazing when you're defending high ground. It's st stupid how hard it is to push into the item, but you've already got ET Coddle to fulfill that niche. I feel. I feel like pushing already is hard enough as it is, and four would be better suited having um, more levels for one thing. Having level four Carapace doesn't even have the level two Vendetta, and having the initiation, the blink dagger, so he can just start a fight off. I think and a four star. You you kite the Sven more. This Aghanim Scepter just isn't going to be. It's coming. It's taking too long to come online, and it's not going to. Yeah, it's not going to fulfill a hole that secret need plug, needed plug. Oh, nine, the God Strength committed here, and they've been using the X very effectively. Gods to siege towers to de push the bottom lane to try and limit the kind of damage mid one can do uh, as a reply on the other side of the map and may get to hit that tower again. X is committed once more. They'll cave in this wave, and for the tower here, blinking. Although this time it is back to safety. Committing a BKB to ensure he gets out safely. Does not want to get caught, die in the top lane, and then not be able to assist here up top, or in the bottom lane, I should say. I didn't see the BKB. Was that? Do you think it was intentional, or it seems like he popped stomp, it really stomp, far away from the team? The stomp was pretty close to hitting him. I think okay. he's like, oh, I might get chased to die, but. Yep. I don't know if he would have. Oracle was still in the neighborhood, so. Uh, big yeah, question. Anything, you wait till Oracle falls, promise you, then use after. I almost feel like he misclicked and meant to TP or use another item, but maybe he meant to blink, but yeah, it was a bit, bit odd. That's, yeah, it's BKB now down to six seconds, so. We're looking at that late game scenario where BKBs are going to be very short. Sven, particularly. OD still got an eight second BKB, but it's mostly the Sven who needs the long duration on his BKB. So newbie, uh, slowly creeping ahead here as far as net worth goes, experience, substantial lead, but we're kind of at that point where levels don't really matter as much. Like your supports maybe getting to level three, three ultimates can make a difference, but mostly got your key levels and one good fight will dramatically swing that grab. Feels like much more it's going to be, can newbie catch mid one? Uh, or can mid one just successfully split push stall and maybe then can they have that miracle fight around the Roche pit courtesy of Elder Titan? Yeah, and that's I think something Nubia is showing a lot of respect to. That's why they're using the X to just slow siege, play it safe. It's not the case so much that Nubia, if they play it safe and stall and just go super late game, they're going to win, but they also just want to put themselves in the safest position to take this game and. That means waiting for Secret to slip up, give you a pick off. Like they'll they'll keep waiting until that presents itself. Maybe even waiting for the the next Roshan. KP Midas and creeps here. This newbie and uh, moving I mean, that forward really tells the, the state of this game. If you're buying a Midas, at, like he bought that after the Vlads. I want to say. Well, was, like... No, no, no. He got it before. It was uh, it was like 27-ish minutes, maybe 24. Okay. It was still quite late though. I mentioned uh, that was his team it. telling him this game's going like 60 minutes or something. You need to become a carry, and that's that's pretty much what the calls being. Yeah, he he went. Uh, I think it was Treads, uh, and then Midas right away, and then back into Blink Vlad. So yeah. I think it was a pretty fast fight. But I, I, I love mean, this item. He he's for going early. for too. It was not fast. <laughs> yeah, he, he's going for the Shadow Blade, and this is the anti-invoker split push item. You can't reliably blink Chrono him because one, he might get vision of you before you blink, and even if Invoker's fast, he can blink out when he gets blinked on top of. So having the Shadow Blade to scout and initiate on Invoker is is a huge item pickup for KP. It's definitely the right choice here. And you combine that with the the X, the the Boots of Travel on Kunkka, or uh, sorry, on Sven. Uh, this team does start to get quite mobile, considering they're, they're not that mobile naturally, but they're itemizing to, to deal with the Invoker split push, and now, and moving forward, they just had eyes on mid one. They know about where he is. Are they going to risk it with the chrono? They found him. KP cages the mighty wizard and see you later, sir. He says, but the real MVP, the ward. <laughs> Absolutely. It's one of those games where MP uh, mid one is going to 
the catch up pickups like that, like it's like, oh, he's off on his own, he's getting caught out, like he's making mistakes, but that's how this game is gonna go down. The mid one is always gonna be off by himself, and for newbie to win this game, they're gonna have to get those pickoffs. For Secret to win this game, he can he needs to get picked off as little as possible and just continue to drag this game out. So it's really this game of cat and mouse between mid one and the entire newbie team. Feels like even more pressure on mid one's shoulders as we go later and later here. Phantom Assassin MP now has to do with an MKB on Stan, and not to mention, oh by the way, there is an OD in this game who is going to try to Hurricane Pipe forward and engage on the puppy, just starts to chuck him down, drops the old KP, watches it happen, uh, he's like, I wish I could help here guys, I am lacking my Chronosphere, nice BKP, dodging the Storm Bolt, but still they've lost three, newbie in the driver's seat now, as they will blink back to work on the tower. They're going to hammer that thing down. They still have dodge strength here for the high ground siege. The BKB available. Gods, they're going for it. And there is yeah. not a buyback available here. As Stan says, hello, sir. Uh, goodbye, sir. Pilot might die down. U9 looking for a bit more. Oh, mid one, Be careful not to die too far for the crits, but KP just going to walk it off. And we're just at that state of the game, guys, where MP can't burst anyone. Yeah. And you can't afford to lose these supports. As much as it sounds like they're not doing much, ET Cuddle are the ones stalling the high ground and NP gets annihilated. The MKB just tears through him. Another one bites the dust and now the boat comes through, connecting on mid one. Or the BKB still, even so, basically losing the right click war here against the OD, even though the orb couldn't be activated and now as the BKB wears off, oh, they do manage to find a kill there, bringing down the OD. Decent hold from Seeker, but they need a lot more than this. U9 is going to be purged up by the Oracle, still has the Satanic available, only hits the creep once, then blinks away Tornado, coming through, trying to clip Faith on the way out. But they got to find a bit more, PA had to buy back for this. And they lost their melee as well. Looking for something. It is going to be Faith. They isolate, but that's not really the hero they wanted. They were hoping for something sweeter. Haste of the Sven. They won't have it. KP also making it out. And now the Shadow Blade you mentioned is online. Yep. So during it all, they, they lost the tier 3 bottom, uh, but they did not lose a Rex just yet. Yeah, it was good discipline, and that's that's what's going to happen. When mid one gets caught out, it leads into some kind of big pickoff. Important for mid one is he scouted out the shadow blade, so he knows it's up. He's not going to get caught out before seeing like by the surprise factor of this item. But he still needs to be careful. He's shadow bladed into the Roche pit. Sentries are nearby on the keeper. Oh, they dagger the Roche and KP. They know he has it, but they don't know where he is. The stun comes out. They got the vision in time. Oh, timely sentry there by Pi. That could have been real ugly if he didn't drop it. I'm That's no buyback, too. Coming through as well here, but the real objective is this big old rock. Light thinking and trying to set up there. Oh, uh oh. Say hello to Unite. One down. Could be two. Mid one oh, trying to make up and Cleave just barely missing him. This Ben is big. He's bad. He's difficult he's to deal with. And the meatball's going to miss. Mid one could be in trouble now. Unite just running at him. They can't deal with the Ben. Even though he's out of mana. Even though he's slowed down by the ice wall. He's so damn tanky. He's hardly losing health. And Akai's going to arrive. Breaks the Lincoln Spear. Where's the follow up? OD coming in. Cracks open the BKB. The hammer gets dropped. Breaks down one. Blinks on the pie, it's a triple for 9 in the pit. They just can't be stopped. Stun strike, good pick off there, but it's not enough. They've lost their keeper of the light as well. Four falling. Mid one had to buy back for that. Defensive gods, and even mm. after all that expense, they still lose the road. A die back from the Knicks as well. And U9 just plays that fight so well. He goes in at the right time. His team back him up with the Lotus Orb. He then even gets the Bleak to finish off the Invoker there. He got in. He had no BKB. He was mana leaked. He had no mana at all. And he just still manages to kill him. the Invoker. Yeah, normally that's a position where he's he's going to get kited and just die at some point. Even if even though Invoker is sitting on three or four hundred HP, if you play it play it well and coordinate around your team, you can typically just kill the, a full HP Sven off. If he has no BKB, you've got Ice Wall, you've got Cold Snap. He should never get to you, but. The Kunker comes in, throws a Lotus Orb, and then they, they get scared of Sven because of the Lotus Orb, so he gets another Blink off and catches out the Invoker. Just great execution from Newbie and great job backing each other up. Well, special tactics in the end here, perhaps, from KP. Secret that false sense of security, and, and then the team punishes. Maybe not his intention. Tactical feeds, yes. <laughs> White Raw would be proud. Mm -hmm. Newbie. Starting to push the lanes in the BOT 2s now online for U9. So he can play very aggressively here. 
with the OD with an Aegis able to even Hurricane Pike in if he wants to start a fight. Now oh, an Aegis yeah. lands on Kunkka, so even more initiation range. They want to jump on the supports. Both supports have Ghost Scepters, Four Staffs, or well, one is a Four Staff, and you want to be able to Blink Hex them and kill them before they can pop their Ghost Scepter, because you don't have a good way of of countering those ghost scepters. You don't have a defusal hero. I love I love this for Kaka. Three gems to choose from in the fountain. He's like, eh, I think I'll take the middle one today. That <laughs> looks the shiniest. You know, it's gonna throw Secret off guard. They're expecting that left hook. Be the right jab, but not gonna happen. It's gonna be a straight up the gut kind of gem play for him. <laughs> the newbie. They have started to really cinch the noose against Secret and with the invoker buying back gods, doesn't want to leave the base, mm. but that means newbie can get all the lanes in. And they have buybacks on their core, so they can commit very heavily to try and find that kill, force, uh, force a dieback, and then take the game. Yeah, they they're gonna just yeah force a force a fight slash kill with the Aegis, I imagine on OD. He gets a blink hex on someone, try and get that fast kill, and then team fight after that. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Problem is, I don't secret themselves have sentries, but they don't have a gem available, and that makes it very tricky to fight against the Shadow Blade initiation of the Void. They've got sentries all around their base for now, but AP being sneaky sneaky outside the base. They're looking for that quick uh, X initiation here. Kaka. Just they see the ward, but it's like, it's like baiting. <laughs> yeah, the Void Spirits will deal with it. Uh, Blue Knight is just in. ready to go at any moment here, though. He blinks it, TP on enemy lines. If he doesn't see it initiation, this gets pulled right back to safety. And that's what you gotta do there. Nixus wants to spam that mana burn on Sven so he gets down low on mana before he BKBs even. Like, you, if you force him to BKB because he's being mana burned, he may just end up wasting that BKB there. Yeah, but of course, you've always got the X back to Fountain <laughs> to, to yes. heal him right back up. So it is not a foolproof solution by any means. New nine goes yeah, again, yeah. Warcry, but well-timed blinding light there. It's going to force him back. A long-range stun as Gorev has finally gone into uh, underground mode. Whoa, he blinked out. From extreme distance. They oh, blink oh. up and no one's even at the tower. That's the beauty of this secret high ground defense is they've got such long range on everything. Nyx, Aether Lens, MP with long range stifling daggers, Invoker, Forge Spirits he can send out, Coddle Blast, ET Spirits. No one even has to go near the tower to defend it. Yet U9 can't hit it. O9 is not quite enough of this. He goes in to hit the tower. Meanwhile, S3C just diving deep behind enemy line. KP, he finds the triple ultimate with the chrono set up. Is the follow up going to be there? Stan unable to initiate in time. He does come in, but it is right as the chrono ends. Not the best follow up not for doing that so chrono. Well. But can they at least bring down the tower during this time? The meatball slowly rolling through. They manage to eviscerate KP. O9. Satanic available, but BKB down, has the buyback if needed, top lane getting shoved in, S3C is low. Sven may have to back away, will they be able to kill off the OD? Oh, great Jumps blink. back to safety, S3C alive for now, Hurricane Pike back even further, Kaka able to pull him out. Ooh, 9 though, may drop, will drop, secret, finding picks. They X4 up, they're gonna drag him back a bit further while mid one hunts for more. So Kaka will escape. <laughs> Perhaps as well as 3C will. Mid one, if he chases up this hill, could easily die. Oh, in yeah. the end, God Secret, they hold pretty damn well here. They just kite for days. Like, the, the, the closest any hero is to those racks is like at the tier 4 towers. The Nyx is positioned right by his tier 4 tower, carapaced up. He's not He's not even you know, borrowed up. He's not even near the push coming in, but the Sven can't even hit the building. If he hits the building, he gets blinding light. He gets mana burned. And you don't want to BKB just for a blinding light mana burn. You want to save the BKB for the team fight. You can't if you want to hit the buildings. It's just such great execution on the high ground defense and secret have the most annoying drop ever to push into, and it's really showing there. And now mid one has completed a Nocturne car. And on top of that, buyback will be available soon if you can farm the thousand gold or so required. Not over yet. That said, they are down 30,000 gold. This is yeah, still it's, a, it's... a mountain to climb, and yet to take a rack. They, they have room to grow, LD. Items, they can pick them up. <laughs> Nubia, they're maxed out. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the beauty here. It's... You've got a, a seven slotted OD. Uh, to go with that, your Sven has long since hit that peak as well. I mean, there are items they could buy, but there's nothing really great to get rid of. Having a, a blink on the OD, a blink on the Sven feels quite essential. Hurricane yes. Pike's always a good pickup, so. You have to have the blinks to pick people off when they're defending high ground. If you don't have the blink, you're never going to get to these long range spamming, nuking heroes of Team Secret, so. 
I don't see a scenario where Sven can really replace his blink. OD similarly probably can't. Maybe he could replace the Hurricane Pike, but even that, I, I think the item is just so good on OD. And if you're looking at these two heroes, in theory, they're just both six slotted right now. There's no real improvements to be made. And that also means they're not carrying Aegis, which yep. uh, limits your options for a, a safe siege. Unless they want to drop something like a blink and just, you know, BKB, hit the tower back away. But Nubia have other ideas. They want to find pickoffs. They strut down the mid lane. Kaka out in front has the blink. There's the initiation. Ooh, nine, three shots, almost two, and Puppy's down and out. Oh, I need another. He's found a second one. This is the kill. If they can bring them two, it might be enough for us. Gets real back in, and then KP is there. He finds the chrono. It's okay. He gets Puppy on the buyback. Might be enough, but the meatball is there. Nubi, though, with the BKB, survived through it, and now chase forward. Ooh, nine walks right into an ice wall, and then backs away immediately. But S3C going in even deeper. Four steps, tightening out that PA BKB. Good defensive Astral's MP is going to run out of uh, his vulnerability suit, and now they look for a bit more. X comes through. KP jumping in. Sun strike. Uh, swinging a miss there. MP trying to cover the path of mid one's retreat, but it's not going to happen. Sven finds the angle. He gets the two heroes done. Sayonara to the invoker. Out for 110. And Secret likely down to the lower bracket. There's the GG of Group A. Seems like they've still got some work to do, guys, but you gotta give Newbie credit. This is a fearsome team with a pretty decent hero pool already. Yeah, they, they play a lot of a lot of different heroes, very hard to draft against, and they they mess up a bit with that previous high ground push, but I think they realize look, we gotta find a pickoff first. We go once we get that kill, that pickoff, wait wait for it, and then Puppy gets caught out as an ET, he 